Solana is continuing to move up. We're now trading at $24 and rapidly closing in on my $30 target for Solana, which is very exciting because if we manage to break it, we are looking at a huge 50% pump to the upside. There's a lot of trading opportunities here and a lot of money to be making with up to 90% in profit. We covered this in our previous Solana videos. And if you're subscribed to the YouTube channel, you're going to know all about that. But since then, what we've seen is an even nicer continuation of the breakout from this uh, falling wedge type of pattern here, where we fell down to a major swing low, entered a very long, um, I mean, many many weeks of consolidation. You can see it very, very clearly here actually on this chart. If we look at this on the weekly chart, where, uh, you know, for a few weeks, it was very volatile, we were pumping up, but then for a very long time, I mean, this is a, you know, I mean, this is like three months, nearly two and a half months of, of price action that we were just kind of stuck in this price range. We're now getting a really nice breakout and continuation to the upside. And what I like about this is that if we take a look at this on perhaps the daily time frame and, um, you know, just get an idea for how big this rally has been so far, we can actually, uh, you know, kind of draw out the, the flagpole. Um, so we've got the flagpole here and the flag itself here. Uh, we can actually draw out the flagpole like this and then kind of forecast this with our breakout point to show us how high we're going to go and this gives us a speculative target of $40 which also makes a little bit of sense it's a nice price level there's a lot of key rejections and resistance in this zone and it looks like this could be a nice leg for Solana to be taking to the upside right now we've carried on our third day of consecutive upward price action this daily candle fourth day my bad this daily candle closes in the next two hours so it looks like we're good for now and i don't see many problems looming ahead for solana um there is this more recent kind of resistance batch over here from uh you know the end of january middle of january earlier this year uh, where solana was finding a lot of resistance and then a little bit more in the middle of february thereabouts but um, i'm not too worried about it i think that solana is going to be able to travel to the top of this range get to about $25 and from there it will have to reach the $30 range as well and I suppose the the thing that's problematic about this price range is there's no exact place where this you know so-called $25 area of resistance stops and the $30 area of resistance begins uh, this whole range I think is going to be problematic for Solana, but we've already kind of broken into it. If you look at the wicks over here, uh, you know, this the, the this kind of resistance range almost starts at like $19, definitely sticks around at $21, for example. And we've broken, you know, a, a good few of these previous back tests right here, which I think is important, right? It's not the strongest sign in the world, but I do think that it is still a good sign nonetheless. And so I'm liking what I'm seeing here, potentially indicating that, you know, this resistance isn't going to be too bad. We're already breaking through it pretty well. Uh, what I also like is phenomenal developments right here from daily, uh, from the daily Ichimoku cloud right here. The, uh, the price has just fallen into this and we've bounced off really nicely. If you don't know what this is, you can just type this into the YouTube search bar and watch my free tutorial on how to get this indicator and how to use it. And it's part of my wider Four Flies Academy course that you guys are going to get for free when you join VIP. Most of you that do that um, are going to get free access uh, into it when you join VIP and you can do that by following these uh, links on screen right here. If you want to get up to $30,000 on Bybit, of course, this is the only platform that I'm using and every coin that I'm trading and talking about, including Solana, is available on Bybit to trade. You've got 0% spot fees, meaning you can trade it completely free of charge buying and selling and up to $30,000 in trading ammunition to trade in derivatives as well, which means you can just throw the money into the market regardless of what happens. And if you make money, you can profit from it. And if not, it doesn't matter because it wasn't your money to begin with. Uh, as you already know, if you're watching this on the main channel, make sure you watch this on the Four Flies Daily channel because you are watching it late and uh, you are not getting all the content on the main YouTube channel. So make sure you check it out on the proper channel that this has been uploaded to. But the daily Ichimoku cloud flipped bullish and we've seen a really nice continuation from there, which is absolutely phenomenal. If we look at this on the four hour EMA ribbon, We've got nice support uh, that, you know, now that the market is just rallying really strong, uh, you know, could probably continue, uh, you know, following Solana. Now, what I really like about this pump right here is volume is actually increasing. From the moment that we got this breakout, volume started to shoot up and volume is not tapering off. Volume is staying strong and potentially even increasing, depending on how we look at this, which is a really strong sign. If we enter bits of consolidation, for example, those are going to be really strong signs that, you know what, it might actually be worth looking at taking some long positions up in this market purely because we've got all the right signs right now. We've broken out of many, many weeks of consolidation.
consolidation. Um, you know, we've already moved up by about 16% uh, from the point that we broke out. This is actually a really big deal. If we take a look at this fake out right here, this went up by 11%. So far, we're already up by 12 and our high measures up to about 15, 16%. So this is the biggest breakout we've had so far. Uh, actually, let's measure this one right here. This might be bigger. Yeah, this was a little bit bigger. We, uh, we faked out with a 20% move. This is the issue with coins like Solana and just other kind of illiquid coins that are generally smaller than bait you know bitcoin which is basically every other coin is that uh they're so volatile right they're actually pretty dangerous to trade sometimes where they just kind of fake out even though they're not like it wasn't particularly bearish at this time it just faked out um you know but it fell massively below our area of support right here to be fair this might have been where bitcoin also faked out let me check this really quickly because that's important it was like kind of around the same time not really um let's uh let me let me see solana's uh, price section right here. No, no, it was it was at, it was actually exactly the same time. So I can't really fault Solana for this, um, you know. But uh, but seeing that we're already you know up to sixteen percent above the breakout point to me, this is you know it, it's got a good chance at being legitimate. Um, you know that this pennant was closing up. You know it's not like you, we could have traded in here for particularly long either. So I think that there's a lot going for this that looks really good right now for Solana. Uh, you know, and that's what makes this really exciting. If it does start to now coil up or if it kind of you know pulls back and you know maybe comes down for a test of this uh you know old area of resistance maybe flipping into new area of support that could also be really bullish so these are the kind of things that i'm going to be looking at for solana right now i think that the first opportunity to buy this breakout is now gone but you know subsequent opportunities to trade continuation patterns i think are going to be very abundant right now um, and you know this is something that i'm going to continue to keep an eye on and when i see something i will you know, consider uh making a trade on that and i'll be informing those of you who are inside of vip uh, and of course like i said i'll be making that trade on bybit uh, which you can do and get free cash. Uh, you know, if you've already got an account, you can even make a brand new one, which is very, very cool indeed. Now, I think a lot of this is going to continue to depend on Bitcoin's dominance. But the good news for us is that now that Bitcoin's dominance has risen very, very high, we finally, for the first time, uh, started to pull back in a while. We haven't actually seen any sort of pullback for about a week in Bitcoin's dominance, which is quite a big deal. Um, you know, and even then before that, uh, this wasn't a particularly big pullback from this high down to this low uh, that the dominance said it only fell down by about 2%. And so far, we're down by about 1%. So we haven't been seeing any real pullbacks in Bitcoin dominance. But if this does continue to drop, and we see something much more meaningful in Bitcoin's dominance dropping, then I think that would spell some really nice upside for Solana. And it comes at a good time because Bitcoin is also sitting at major resistance right now. So uh, for Bitcoin to just kind of trade sideways a little bit and give the altcoins a chance to see some more money entering them would make a lot of sense. It's just one of those things that seems fairly likely to happen. So I like what I'm seeing with Solana right now. I think it's in a strong position. It is about to enter, uh, you know, some some pretty you know serious resistance considering what it has. But uh, you know, I'm not too worried about it. The volume is a huge sign that's giving me a lot of confidence. Uh, so if we do start to see this thing pausing a little bit, that to me is only going to be a sign that, you know what, th this is this is going to get ready to blow again. Uh, so I am not taking my eyes off Solana right now. There you go. Really hope you've enjoyed this video on, uh, on Solana. If you have, do me a favor, smash up the like, subscribe, take the bell, do all the good stuff. Again, if you are new to this channel, make sure that you are subscribing and taking the bell because this is very time sensitive content and you wouldn't have done so already if you're just new to the channel. And like I said, if you're watching this on the main channel, then make sure you watch it on the proper channel where this was uploaded to first uh, so that you can get this content right when it's published uh, and you don't miss out on critical content like when it's too late. There you go. I'll see you all in the next one. Cheers.